Well, I was, just, I was thinking Galena Park has the... Oh, Galena Park, yeah. yeah Galena Park yeah. with the wind behind them at first. Well, what, what Galena Park does is just kind of toss the ball up in the air and it's going to go 20 <laughs> yards. Galena Park is in, at this point, in third place in the district in team offense through seven games. They rushed a little over 1,800 yards and passed a little over 1,000. So about pretty uh, even. About a, well, yeah, well, yeah. Yeah. had about 2,800 total yards of offense. They averaged a little over 400. So uh, they come in tonight four and three overall. Tech City five and two. But in the in the one loss records that count, both teams are tied for third place, coming in at three and one. Right. So yeah, a big game coming off of a big win in Santa Fe last week. Beat Santa Fe 48-21. Tech City, of course, coming off of a. A uh, lopsided victory over at uh, Kerrville Stadium in, in Galveston. But we should see, uh, again, it, it, I love Friday nights. Every Friday night, it looks like a, an opportunity for a new hero to stand up, step up. And so here we are getting set to kick off a homecoming, a homecoming kickoff. Aaron Clays puts a foot into it, goes into that win. Fair catch is called for and taken at the 32. Then he starts to run. But there, I don't see a flag. Well, the fair catch, I believe, was called for behind the... the well, I what did the receiver actually, behind him call for? I saw the kid that caught the ball, he didn't put his hand much above his shoulder, but he was waving his hand. Maybe he was just saying hi to mom before he caught it, but... Nonetheless, they'll get the ball first and 10 at their own 35. Back a record, Darrow Adams, senior 6'1", 210 pounder, gives it off right up the gut to number 11. That's Matthew Jones, first play from scrimmage. The Yellow Jackets are going to chew up some real estate across midfield down to the 47 yard line. Jones has been their main ball carrier this year. He's got 823 rushing yards, averaging just over six yards a carry. He just helped that average right there. and 10 in Sting territory again. Nothing there at all. He's met before he gets to the line of scrimmage by number 7, Dominique Allen. Give me a loss of 2 on the play. Got some help from the Sting's number 32. That's Dalvin Jackson. Matthew Jones. The ball carrier. Two in a row there. Senior 5'8", 175 pounder. As I'm listed as running back and a defensive back, I'm sure probably a few of these guys will be going both ways. Yeah. High pass caught. Oh, hell on. Hit immediately by, by Devontae Hinton. I mean hit immediately and hard, but get a nice job of holding on to the ball. Zante Oliver, number six, brings that one down. And he was popped in traffic. Holds on for a first down. Gain of 13 on the play. And the Yellow Jackets wasting no time moving this ball down the field. Ball at the 37-yard line. <clears throat> the Yellow Jackets get their signals from the sidelines. Whole family in the backfield. Jones gets the call. Takes it outside and going to be caught there. No room, <laughs> no room getting to the side. Not at all. Avery Fuller, the first orange jersey there. First time to, this year, Texas City wearing the Stingery orange jerseys. Ted, just as you just <coughs> witnessed, Adam's not afraid to put this ball in the air, especially with him when it is back. Threw a strike there to Zante Adams for the first down a couple plays ago. Ball up caught near the sideline at the 31-yard line. That's where we would be brought down. Gain of six on the play. Dominique Allen on the stop. Flag on the play over here. Oh, near the end of the play. Let's see what we got here. Sides. <laughs> the, the flag was laying at the line of scrimmage. I guess when he threw the flag, the wind carried it <laughs> yeah, six or seven yards. Well, not not to where, the, where the ball was uh, carried to. 
second and five. They take the yardage. From the shotgun, you'll notice Adams uses a cadence. Sometimes will draw the offense, draw the defense off sides. Jones gets the call. Gets a tough four yards down to the 30, excuse me, down to the 28-yard line. I believe he's going to be about a yard shy of the first down marker. Texas City's Corey Robinson, number 34, makes the stop. It'll be third and a yard for Texas City, or for Galena Park. Sting's trying to stop this drive. It started for the Yellow Jackets at their own 35. Seventh play of that drive coming up right here. Third and one. Keeper high. I don't believe he's going to get well, I don't think he is. Uh, no, they're going to stop him right about the line of scrimmage. Adams puts the ball in the belly, but keeps it himself. A little read play, a little read option there. And Sting defense closed quite nicely. Take across that front line. Strong tackle, number 59, Adrian Burton. Quick tackle, number 34, Corey Robinson. And number 32, Delvin Jackson. Strong end, number 36, Coley Johnson. We'll get you those linebackers and secondary here in just a moment. Fourth and one, trying to draw them off sides with the cadence. With a strong count. Stay flinch, but hold their place. Four seconds on the play clock. And Galena Park, sure enough, is going to call a timeout. And we'll take a timeout with them. We're looking at fourth and one when we come back. Back after the timeout, fourth and one for the Yellow Jackets. Adams stays in the shotgun, has two men to the near side, one to the far side. Going to pitch to Jones. Jones has the corner, has the first down, a few extra yards down to the 21-yard line. Avery Fuller on the stop for the Stings. Gain of six. Going through the rest of the starting defense for Texas City. In the secondary, the linebackers, number 22, Avery Fuller. Number six, Devontae Hinton. Number seven, Deontay Foreman. And number five, Adrian West. And in the back, number two, Donald Lynch. Number 15, Chris Gray. And number 17, Dominique Allen. First set of downs here, first and ten. Fake given there. Ball put in the end zone. Nice, nice defense there. Pass intended for Zante Oliver. I believe it's that over well. I believe it's Donald Lynch, and it, he won't turn it over to see his number, but I believe it's Donald Lynch. Number, exactly. <laughs> Quarterback gives a little fake there. Lynch does a nice job of holding on. Not let, not let the receiver get behind him. Little option read. Quarterback keeps. And I tell you what, well defended because I thought he had a lot of real estate out there to work with. Kobe Johnson closed the hole quick. He, he was a step behind him, but he got there pretty quick, and he was the first orange jersey there. Adams makes a good read. Yes. Good we got third down and seven for the Yellow Jackets. Comes the 11th play of the drive. Ball there looking to pass. In the air, tipped. Nice job by Devontae Hinton. Or is that? That six. I'm sorry, you're right. Tipped away, and I tell you what, had his man cut across the middle. And nice defensive move is going to bring on a field goal unit here. Be a 35-yard attempt with the wind. Martin Ramos, sophomore kicker. He's going to put this one up. Lots of leg. Plenty of leg. Good-looking kick there from Ramos. That puts the Yellow Jackets on top here to start this homecoming scoring. Jackets three, staying zero. Ramos set to kick off after he puts points on the board first here tonight. He won't kick it yet. The wind's blown the ball off the tee. Kind of feeling that might happen a time or two tonight. Yes. It'll be interesting to see how, <clears throat> what Texas City looks like going against the wind into a very stiff wind, I might say. See if he's going to get all leg or... And he does. Ramos puts this one deep. Over it's, the head. Yeah, hits at the one and goes immediately back out of the back of the end zone. Texas City will start first and ten. Run you through that offense real quick. That center, number 54, Hanlon, 
the senior. Right guard number 58, Gabe Garza, he's a junior. Right tackle number 75, Daniel Tarver, senior. Left guard number 56, the junior, LaTroy Wafer. Left tackle number 73, Jacob Stanley is a senior. Kobe Johnson in there as we start off as well. Andrew Allen under center. Deshaun Rawls gets the call, steps across. Nice run as he steps across the line of scrimmage, sidesteps a tackler right at the, the line and gets what, an extra 13 yards, or a total of 13 down to the 39. Nice run by Rawls. Nice CTC with an immediate first down. Foreman and Rawls split in the backfield. Rawls gets the call again, trying that left side. Foreman gets him a block. Now he's at the 50. He'll go to the 49. Still on his feet as he spins off another tackle and gets down to the 46-yard line. They've got a yellow jacket down. Two of them down, actually, I believe. Oh, my goodness. Rawls ran over both of them. Joel Marino on the tackle. And we've got an official timeout. Like I say, both guys are down. We'll take a break with them. Back to the action. Stings first and 10 on the downhill side of the field now at the Galena Park 46. Good news, both Yellow Jackets were able to walk off under their own power after the injuries from the shotgun. Handoff goes to Armonte Foreman, and he's got a hole trying to get outside. He won't get there, but he has a quick nine yards out of the left side. You just hate that we broke the string of first down carries, though. <laughs> He only got nine yards. <laughs> when have you done to be upset about only well, nine yards? he's not a running back. I mean, he's a wide receiver. So. <laughs> Goodness. Injured players for Galena Park there. Nose tackle, big number 99. And also their middle linebacker, number 33. Hope to see them back. Howard under center. Deontay Foreman gets the call. There's the first down across the 30 to the 29-yard line. Gain of seven. And a Texas City first down. So again, just like that, Texas City wasting no time. <laughs> Putting this thing back and going the other way. When it's not a factor when you keep it low to the ground, is it? Sting's ready to go. Looks like a little, little problem with the snap that time. Looks like yes. it's still double clutch on Allen's part. Trace Rodriguez and Armonte Foreman out wide to the far side on first down. Foreman comes in motion. He'll get the handoff from Allen, trying to find some room to run outside. And can't quite he break was, the tackle. Uh, uh, thought he was going to slip out of that one. He was close. Ryan White, senior linebacker, comes in and takes him down by the shoestring. It's going to be a loss of one. Yeah. So it'll be second and 11. Adrian West goes out wide to the far side. Armani Foreman in the slot. This time Donald Lynch and Rawls. Rawls gets the call. Gets across the 25 down to the 24. Brought down by Zayon Wesley. <clears throat> One of the things that I was looking at stats from last week, Tech City with... That's 0 for 3 on third down conversions. I know you didn't have a whole lot of them last week. <laughs> yeah. You know, you look at yeah, that's true. Uh, one to, to, that's a category, of course, you want to increase. But, uh, you know, not sure what part of the game that took place as well. First third down of the game here. Third and six. Looks like they weren't lined up to Allen's satisfaction, so they call a timeout. With 4.47 to play, Texas City finds themselves down three to nothing. <laughs> third and six for Texas City. From the 29-yard line of the Yellow Jackets, Kobe Johnson goes in motion. Makes the handoff. Allen rolls this way, looking to throw. He's got a man open. Oh! I was getting ready to say overthrew Donald Lynch, but Lynch went airborne and almost pulled that ball in. I believe that was Lynch. It was Lynch. Uh, Armani Foreman's coming back in, pleading this case, because he ran a nice route over the corner. But tough play to make on the run. That'll bring up fourth. Fourth and six. Stings will go for it against this tough win. Allen in the shotgun with Deshaun Rawls to his right. Fires it across.
across the middle, overthrows and intercepted. Uh, tell you what, the interception <coughs> is really good news. Uh, you, know, you, never, you never want to say that, but the interception actually gained him about 13 yards. Pass thrown just high, slant. Definitely was a right call. Allen gets a little under it. Of course, it's tough again, throwing into that wind. You never know what's going to do to that ball. Ball takes up high, and the Yellow Jackets take over at their own 13 yard line. Yep, 13. With 4.36 remaining in the first quarter, pitch goes to Jones wide, and Jones will be popped by nice. the 16. Open field tackle by Chris Gray. Gain of a tough three yards on the play. Jackets do a nice job of trying to stretch that play out. Sting's doing a nice job of containing. Lots of orange jerseys involved in the pursuit. Yellow Jackets took four and a half minutes off the clock with their first drive. Ended up with three. This is their second drive of the night. Got to be caught in the backfield. Nowhere to go. Daryl Adams <clears throat> as he rolls to his right. Colby Johnson <laughs> and uh, Adrian Burton had a hold of him. Deontay Foreman did his part as the third orange surgeon. They're trying to strip the ball. <laughs> Said, you hold him, I'll get the ball. It just didn't quite work. I will call that a, a sack because he was, they were in pass formation. I'll bring up third and 12. And like I say, that little interception, hey, just like a punt, right? right? Puts them back, hey, you know, you, you, you like to have them down inside the 20, and now you got them right outside the 10. Uh, second, excuse me, third and 12. Adams airs this one out, and it's going to be incomplete over through his intended receiver, which is number two, Carrick Floyd. Chris Gray right there on the coverage as well. That'll bring up fourth down. Fourth and 12. Punter will be standing about two yards deep in the end zone. Armani Foreman standing at his own 45. Good snap, not a lot of a rush, and a nice high kick taken by Foreman at the 43. Gets by a tackler, he's still on his feet. 30, 25, and falls forward to the 23-yard line. Nice run by Armani Foreman. 36 yards on the return by Armani Foreman. I tell you what, he was just basically one guy away from taking that one on into the house. Yeah, there was a couple of white jerseys there at about the 45, 50 yard line that had to go back and get their shoes. <laughs> they got faked right out of them. So once again, for Texas City Special Teams, steps it up. Good punt. About a 52 or 53 yeah. yard punt. From the shotgun on first down for Texas City, Andrew, that night's Armani Foreman in the backfield, takes the snap himself, cuts it across up the field, he gets across the 15, down to the, about the 14, so he'll get 10 yards. And the first down, you still could say 10 yards in a cloud of dust, and it's now it's 10 yards in a, in a bunch of pellets. Cloud of rubber, yeah. Cloud of rubber, huh? Yeah. yeah. Foreman will come split out here to the near side with Lynch and Deontay in the backfield. Deontay Foreman gets the call and there's nowhere to go. He'll lose a couple. Quick closure there up the middle by Ryan White. <coughs> Senior linebacker sneaks his way into the backfield to make that stop. Loss of four. Second and 14 for Texas City from the 18.
Coach Chen Foreman from the eye. Foreman gets the call. Big hole. Five. And he'll fall forward into the end zone for the touchdown. Hey, what? Kobe Johnson pulls yes. from that left side. Yeah. Comes over and just basically wipes open a trail. So it would be that was 18 yards away? Yes. Aaron Clay is set to attempt the extra point. Andrew Allen with the hold. Hanlon with the snap. Snaps. Good. Kick is up. And it's good. Wow. Into that win. It just looked like it almost up. <laughs> straight up and straight down. Inverted V. It goes up and down, but it's good enough for the seven. With a minute 41 to play in the first quarter, Texas City takes their first lead. Seven to three over Galena Park. Oh, nice shoestring tackle. Got a hold of the shoestring and wouldn't let go. I believe that's Francois Bonilla. Number 44, yeah. For the Stings. The Galena Park gets set for their third possession. Tell you what's pretty big quick quick turnaround here. You remember just a couple of seconds ago, a couple of minutes ago, Galena Park was intercepting a fourth down pass. Three and out, three plays right. Tech City scores. This is how quickly this thing can go. Yellow Jackets on a 32 yard line. Adams with the option. Keeps it up the side. Has some room. Gets down the sideline. Ball's on the ground. Down to the 45-yard line. I believe Texas City has it. They say they do. We'll see what the striped shirts say. Still no call from Texas City. Or, I mean, from the officials. And it is. Now it is. Is that Devontae Hinton? Cut off the bottom of that pile? It was. Yep. So a nice run negated by the fumble. Texas City gets the ball at their own 44-yard line. Minute 28 left in the first period. Still going into that stiff win here. Allen from under center takes the snap pitches coming to this near side. Got him some running room. Flat on the play. Deshaun Rawls still running to the 20. Oh, got the ball taken away from him. Oh, wow. Flags, Doug like Dennis said, back at the line of scrimmage. Likely at the place that holding happens. We'll see what the man in the white hat says. Holding. Texas City. <laughs> oh, wow. What a funny turn of events. I'm telling you. So the Yellow Jackets had one play, fumbled, and lost it on their possession. Texas City has one Same play. Yeah, gained 30 yards and then fumbled the ball. Ball at the 26-yard line. Adams will again roll to his right. Pitches nowhere to go in the backfield. Tackle for loss. Big loss. Loss of seven on the play. Deontay Foreman, I, I believe, yes. Well, I tell you what. <laughs> Adams looked up and read that thing. <laughs> it was nowhere for him to go, nor was there any place for Matthew Jones to go. And this thing's defense is fired up. We could take a little time here, maybe end this quarter and get this thing turned around. Texas City to have the win to their back, and I guarantee you, the uh -huh. first play from scrimmage is going to be a ball. Do you think? I reckon. <laughs> Adams reads, keeps, caught in the backfield. Now he tries to make something of it, and he's going to be caught again. Tackle for loss, and the Sting defense is just hungry back I'm there. I'm telling you. I'll tell you what. Deontay Hinton, I'm, I'm sorry, Deontay Foreman is so upset with himself. He had him in the backfield, <laughs> but he had him long enough to get yeah. some other orange jerseys. He had long enough where he lost a couple more yards trying to make something of it. So two plays, loss of 15. 
it'll be third and long. It'll be third. To get a first down, they're going to have to call their bus driver to come get them some help to get to the first down. I'll tell you that right now. Yeah, you got it. That's going to take us down to the end of the first quarter. We've played 12 here in Texas City. Stings on top, 7-3. to three. We'll be right back with the second quarter in just a second. Yellow Jackets looking at third down in the bus ride. <laughs> Adams has it. Across the middle, caught. Excuse me, not across the middle here. Near sideline, caught at the 23-yard line. Immediately taken down by Donald Lynch. Gain of 10 on the play, but it'll still be quite a bit short. And just in time for Ramos to punt into a stiff wind. Armani Foreman standing at his own 43-yard line. See how this one goes. Stings put a big rush on. Bonilla almost got in there. I'm not sure he didn't get a piece of it. If that ball went sideways, it's going to go out of bounds at the 27-yard line of the Yellow Jackets. Actually, they're going to mark it at the 28. Five. No, four-yard punt. If he did, if, if Bonilla did not get a hand on it, he yeah, had altered it. Absolutely. So three plays for the Yellow Jackets, and they move backwards three yards and the Stings will begin their fourth possession remember the last possession only lasted one play and this possession the touchdown was on a short field with the 24 yards away yep. and again this one this drive they're getting from 28 yards away Allen from the shotgun hands off cutting it up the middle that's Donald Lynch Lynch just lowers his head and gets to the 20. Tackle made by Jaime Hernandez. Sophomore. Lots of sophomores on this Galena Park roster. Gain of eight for Lynch and the Stings. <clears throat> Need to take advantage of this field position and put one in. Foreman splits out wide to the far side. Adrian West to the near side from under center. Hand off to Deontay Foreman. Breaks a tackle. Still on his feet. Five. Still carrying two. Yeah, one. How he does oh. it. <laughs> Touchdown, Jackson City. Just not sure how he does it. How did he get through the line of scrimmage yeah. with that many arms grabbing at him? And that's what it was, arms grabbing at him. He had one white jersey. And he jumped carries back and hit the five. So. Another white jersey joins him at the three, and he just takes them both in with him. But Texas City with two plays, 28 yards. Is that a 20 yard carry? 18 yards. 18. It doesn't add up, does it? Yeah, it does. Yeah. Eight. Aaron Clace with the extra point. Good snap. Kick is up. And it is good. 10 26 to play in the first half. Stings extend their lead 14 to 3 over Galena Park. Aaron Clace. Set to kick off. Puts a foot into it with that wind. Ball will be hits the five and bounces out of the back of the end zone. So Galena Park will set up camp at their own 25. Will be the yellow jacket. This will be the yellow jacket's fifth. Offensive possession of the night. Scored on their first one with a 35-yard field goal. And they've punted twice and lost a fumble. Jackets bring it back to the line of scrimmage. Ray for some action. Darrell Adams from the shotgun. Hands it to a new running back. That's Matthew Phillips. And Phillips is going to be caught in the backfield. Trying to get outside, saw Kobe Johnson block the end as he started to change his mind. Then all of a sudden he runs into Devontae Hinton. And Phillips will lose seven. Loss of, what, seven? 
Loss of seven on the play, you bet. The Yellow Jackets last, or yeah, last two possessions were a minus five, or minus two and minus five total yards, so they have not gone forward the last couple times they had the ball. And they're not going to go anywhere here. Field. Caught in the backfield back at the 10-yard line. Well, that pocket severely collapsed. Corey Robinson, the first stingery right there. Another loss of seven. Well, I hope that bus is full because it's going to need all the gas it's got to get to a first down marker now. <laughs> Third down and 24. I tell you what, with a stiff wind in your face, it's not a, not a good passing opportunity here. Look for the stings to come all out. A little pressure put on there. This is put up and tipped away. Incomplete intended for Zante Oliver. We've got Zach Powell on the defense for Texas City. Breaks it up. Had a chance at the interception, but probably not a bad deal just to, to knock it to the ground either. And hard to tell, but now they're going to have to punt from the end zone. Uh, I tell you what, with that wind blowing like it is, uh, and the last punt rush that the Stings were able to put together, this uh, could be uh, could be disastrous here. From two yards deep in the end zone, Gets the punt away, gets it in the air, and then it just kind of hangs there. And it's going to go out of bounds at the 27-yard line. Just about the same place that it went last time. Well, they'll have to go one yard shy if they're going to equal the drive of line. It was 28-yard line last time. so and That would be a 17-yard punt. So we're almost having, having trouble with this wind. plays negative 14 yards for the Yellow Jackets. Andrew Allen under center on first down. Takes a step back. Looks like he's going to throw it. Then pulls it back in. Now he tosses out here to Deontay Foreman. Got all kinds of run around. Gets a huge block. Oh, oh, oh. Down to the five. On Monte Foreman on the flag. Oh, Come on. Oh, no. Oh. Not sure. The that fight, it came in very late. On about 10 minutes after the play. And I'm sure this is going to be something like they called a couple weeks ago, targeting. Just a great hit to, to give him some room. Uh, but yeah, I guarantee that's what they're going to call. Got him marked out of bounds. Balls, do they have the ball marked? Yep, marked the ball at the four. Cervic wants an explanation, and he's getting one. I'm not sure he's going to like it. Don't believe he does. But it's going to back it up. Well, I understand all of the implications of trying to keep the game safe. <laughs> trying to keep the game safe, but I, it's part of the game. Yep. <laughs> You know, backs it up to the 27-yard line. Well, back right where it was, actually, the 26. Yeah, it looks like a funky thing. It looks like it's first and nine. Yeah. Armani Foreman takes its snap from the shotgun, and he'll cut it across the 20 down to the, right about the first down marker at the 17. They're going to call it a first down right at 10 yards. 23 left in the first half. 8.23 till we get to crown a new homecoming queen. The king was crowned on Wednesday. Lots of festivities taking place. Had a big turnout for the homecoming parade. A lot of fun. Sting's ready to go. First and 10. Johnson comes in motion. The handoff goes to Deontay Foreman. He's caught in the backfield. Keeps his feet somehow. And now... Be careful blocking out there. <laughs> right. You don't want to hurt anybody. Foreman will go down at the 24. So he'll lose about seven. So that'll bring up 
second and long, right before the snap of the ball. The defensive line with the yellow the yellow jacket shifted to the right. Gaps changed. And that play was stopped for no gain. And now the alignment problems, personnel problems for the Jackets, and they're going to take a timeout. We'll take it with them. With 7.28 left in the first half, Stings on top, 14-3. to three. Stings looking at a second and 15 from the Galena Park 29. Two wide outs to the near side. Backfield split, and we've got all sides. Yep. Andrew Allen, go for it, buddy. He'll get down inside the 15 to about the 12. That's a tough one right there. You're only going to get five yards on the penalty. But you, you don't want to have to look at third down, so. Yeah, flags on both sides of the field. I'm assuming for the same thing. But I'm not so sure. Survey getting his options. Gain of 11. If you take the penalty, it's going to end up being third down and seven. Somewhere in there. All right. That makes sense. Now it's third. I think four is what it looks like it's going to be, Dennis. They're marking it at the 12. Okay. I thought we were a little further out than that. So third and four now for Texas City from the Yellow Jackets. Take us a little, a little off sides here. Yeah. 12 yard Plenty line. time to do it. Foreman on the slant. All the ground. Oh, it is on the ground just as he got to the first down marker. Yellow Jackets say they have it, and, and they, they do. do. So Stings lose the ball inside the 10. <clears throat> yeah, it's almost like you, you're not really worried about it. You're just kind of playing. It's, it's just kind of like you're playing with your little sister here, you know. You, <laughs> you know, you just, you're going to let her have it. Let, well, let her win a little bit here. Let her have, you know. And then you hit her one time and Mama gets on the ring and backs you up 15 yards. <laughs> you know, and I apologize about that analogy, but it's just, at this point, you're just not worried, but you just, you don't want to be sloppy. So back to the action, Darrell Adams. He gives the first man through. I believe that's Matthew Jones. He's going to fall forward for a yard. But he got hit pretty quick by Foreman, Deontay Foreman, and a couple of his friends, including uh, Dalvin Jackson, number 32. With the Yellow Jackets on their own eight-yard line, they have a lot of lot, uh, a ways to go, I guess you say. Nothing there again. Actually going to be a loss of a, a yard or two. Actually two yards. It's going to make it third and 11. Ball carrier Matthew Phillips. Hinton on the stop for Texas City. Stings run four plays before the fumble. They have a net of eight yards on that drive. Remember, they did take it down <laughs> to the four-yard line yeah. and had the penalty. Quick out right here, complete to Carrick Floyd. Floyd avoids a tackle. He's going to have a first down out to the 20-yard line. So again, into that wind, uh, Galena Park shows a little resilience there as they go ahead and put the ball in the air and get a first down out of it. Hinton with some help from Dominic Allen on the stop. Two no gains in a row. And then they pick up 12 on the pass and a big first down for the Yellow Jackets. Pull them out of the shadow of that goal, out of the goal post. Fresh set of downs here 
for Daryl Adams. Adams drops. Throws the out pass. Complete again to Carrick Floyd. And I believe Floyd may have just barely gotten back to the last scrimmage. He caught the ball, turned to look upfield, and immediately right there was Avery Fuller. Jackets need to be careful putting that thing in the air like that. <laughs> I want to see the Sting defense get hungry a little bit like they were <laughs> that last drive down there on the other goal post. Right. Second and ten. Adams. Quick out. Oh, and he held on. Did hold on to it. Sante Oliver. Went up high to pick it up. And didn't come down with it. So that'll bring up third down, third and ten. Jackets were successful on the last third down. Clock stops at 5-11 with the incomplete pass. Been a weird game, 14-3. to three. Stings on top. Pass falls. Oh, oh, oh my And about three minutes after the play, the flag comes in. Not a catchable ball. The receiver didn't even know where it was. Uh -huh. And the referee throws that one from Central City. Yeah. Happened, saw wow. They're going to talk about it, but. Discussion still going on in the middle of the field with the officials talking about it being whether it, probably talking about whether it was uncatchable or not. Something tells me things aren't going to win this battle. We just haven't done it. And it's call pass interference against Texas City. interference gives the Yellow Jackets new life. Yes, it does. Second first down to drive. Got five minutes to play till the Queen gets her crown. <laughs> You're really excited Adams about that, aren't you? That's pressure and the whistle blows. Got a flag on the far side. Far side. Gonna be motion. Texas doing a good job on first and second down of getting negative yardage. Yeah. That third down is the killer. A few seats left over in the Galena Park area. Well, that's because the band got up to get ready for half yeah, sure. I, I, I didn't notice that. Pitch the near side and lots of room up the middle and shut down fast. I believe he stopped well, I'm telling you, Chris right Craig. before the first down marker. Chris Gray came out of nowhere with the open field tackle. Matthew Jones stopped him at the 41. Picks up 14. He needed 15. That was on first down. It's second and one. Again, slow night. Where the Sting's offense says Galena Park is just chewing away the clock. And I guarantee you that's the game plan coming in here. Well, Keep the ball out of Texas you know, in hands. You have I to. think Ball High had the ball about 10 minutes of the third quarter last week over in Galveston. Got the first down. Matthew Jones picked up a little more than two. He only needed one. But he gets the first down. Yellow Jackets started this drive at their own seven yard line. They picked up two big third downs on the drive. Pass 
pass intended over on the sideline for Zante Oliver, just too high. Sack pile defending, but nobody could get to that one. That was the ninth play of the drive. Like I say, nine plays and they hadn't crossed midfield yet. <laughs> Got the ball with seven minutes to play and we're down under four. here to the near sideline completed to Carrick Floyd and he'll be put out of bounds immediately Donald Lynch makes the stop swings him out of bounds nope stayed in bounds third and six on the side over here. He has a first down. And Phil Kelly still on his feet somehow or another. Well, wow. all the way down to the 25 yard line. I'm not I just looked away. He thought he was yeah. tackled. Well, I think he gets everybody up thought and he still was. goes. This thing's not wrapping up. 27 yards on the play for Anthula Kara Kelly. And a big Galena Park first down. See, they took a long time to get that play on. Uh, after the play was over, they had a long time to get a pile undone. I thought there might have been a penalty, but that's not the case. Corey Robinson finally makes the stop for Texas City. Darrell Adams. Back in the shotgun. Quick pitch to Jones. Goes to the left side. Jones tripped up. Thought he might catch the corner. I'm not sure who got the shoestring, but somebody did. This is Devontae Hinton. Yeah. Hinton gets his hand out there and just in time. Reached out and touched someone. Yellow Jackets scored on their first drive. Took quite a bit of clock. Took a little over four minutes off the clock on that drive. They're doing the same here. Adams just dumps it over to the sideline and then we uh, maybe get back to the line of scrimmage to Jones on the reception. Actually he does. No gain on the play. They'll bring up third down. Foreman, Deontay Foreman on the stop. They've converted tw two times on third down already. Now we've got under two minutes left in the half. Stings on top. 14-3. Has not been the prettiest of halves for Texas City. Yellow Jackets. Quick strike to Carrick Floyd. Floyd will have the first down yardage and down inside the 10 yard line to the 9. Lynch on the stop. But not before, like Dennis said, gain of 15 gives a new set of downs. Jackets to apart. found a nice little wrinkle there. And they've been able to exploit that play has worked several times and Colby that one Johnson. has not yeah that one's not going to happen Matthew <laughs> Jones gets the pitch and he'll lose see where they're going to lay the ball down he'll lose about four yards and they quickly call a timeout to preserve some clock and we'll, we'll take a timeout with them things have been discussed and we've got second down and goal from just inside the 15-yard line. Mr. Referee wants us to know <laughs> very emphatically. They've got no more timeouts left. Second and goal from the 15. Adams has one man in the backfield with him. That's Kevin Arvalo. And this one, the loud pass complete to... to my bad. That's Kevin Ivala. In the backfield was Nick Rosano. Hinton on the stop for Texas City. Game of five on the play. Third and goal. 
Looks inside, has it. Touchdown, Yellow Jackets. A slant pattern. Caught at the goal line and dropped in for the score. Well, they chewed up some yards and some clock on that drive. I tell you what, I'm impressed though. Adams done some pretty, pretty, uh, picking some defense apart. Doing some yes. nice job putting the ball in play. He's throwing against the wind. Not putting the ball out there long, making some short but very concise passes. 14 to 9 with the extra point yet to come here. Six minutes on the drive for the Jackets. They're going for two. Looking at the slant again. Got same it. exact play. Like a pick. Yep. It same worked well. Exact thing. And that puts 11 on the board for the Jackets. Stings lead 14 to 11 with just under a minute to go in the half. Clean Park set to kick off. Big group being recognized here on the home side of the stands. The Stingery class of 1967. Kick off. Low to the ground. Picked up and taken by Donald Lynch. And Lynch gets it all the way out to midfield. They'll mark it just shy of midfield. Yellow Dracket drive. Pretty impressive running. 17 plays. Took six minutes and one second off the clock. Nine yard pass and an extra point conversion. Two point conversion. I guarantee you that's pretty impressive right yes, there. Yes it is. It sure is. Converted three third downs. Allen takes the snap, straight back, firing it down the field. Got a man open, guess who? On Hotley Foreman for the touchdown. That ball right on stride. Foreman never broke stride. Took a little while. But see, the last time they were just too close. They had on the 27 yard line. You couldn't make that long pass. Exactly. 50 yard yard right. play. That puts you puts you back in the spirit real quick. Yeah, that'll, that'll, that'll help that uh, half locker half room half time <laughs> time go a little bit smoother, maybe. Maybe. But, uh, I don't think it's going to change that defensive <laughs> talk. <laughs> well, no. Cervic's going to be uh, having some discussion, I believe, with his defense. Extra point is up. And good. So with 45 seconds to play in the first half, Texas City strikes back 21 to 11. We'll be right back. Aaron Clay set to kick off after the 50-yard touchdown strike. Andrew Allen to Armonte Foreman. Only fair, his brother got the other two touchdowns for Texas City on the ground. Clay puts a foot into this one. It's taken at about the seven-yard line. Francois Bonilla on the stop. So the Yellow Jackets will have 38 and a half seconds to work with before the halftime. 38 seconds and no timeouts. seconds and ticking. Quarterback Adams quickly falls on it. Wow. Francois Bonilla was right there. Dodged a bullet there. Yes, they did. There's... I don't think they're probably not going to have to run out of play because the, yeah. the game clock is underneath the play clock. Yep. So. It has not been a pretty half. No, it hasn't. We're going to go to the locker room and try to do it. Hit the reset button here. And let the uh, homecoming festivities begin as both teams head to the locker room. Stings on top of Galena Park.
they used to be. They were way over there and way over there and up front.
Listen to the music, make up dance, and then three when she gets the chance. Her motto in life is learn from yesterday, live for today, hope for tomorrow. After graduation, Jenna would like to pursue a career in the field of forensics. She hopes to have a happy and successful life. Miss Jennifer Bella Gardner. Next, Bailey Kathleen Finn. <laughs> Bailey is the daughter of Tim and Cindy Finn. She has been escorted this evening by her brother, Rogan Finn. Bailey has played on the Sims volleyball team for the past four years. She is a second year varsity player. Bailey has also been active in several school organizations. She is a four-year member of NRI and a two-year member of the National Honor Society. Bailey serves on the Senior Film Committee, plays powder puff, and is a league participant. In her free time, Bailey enjoys bike riding and getting her nails done. At home, she likes to boss around her little brother Riley and hang out with her dogs Reggie and Preston. After graduation, Bailey plans to attend Texas State University to pursue a degree in the medical field. Bailey Kathleen Finn. <laughs> Bianca Inez Garza. <laughs> Bianca is being escorted this evening by her father, Renee Garza. Bianca has played on the team's soccer team for the past three years. She is a first-year varsity player. Bianca is also a second-year varsity cross-country team member. Bianca is a member of a newly formed organization called Redefined Beautiful. Bianca enjoys shopping and getting her nails done. She also loves going to church with her family and spending time with her best friend. Summertime is her favorite season. Bianca is described as a genuinely nice person with an outgoing personality. Her motto is, to live by is from Miss Audrey Hepburn. Nothing is impossible. The word itself says, I'm possible. After graduation, Bianca plans to attend Galveston College to earn her associate degree in applied science and pursue her career as a nuclear medical tech. She hopes to one day find love and have a wonderful family of your own, Bianca Inez Garza. <laughs> Taylor Nolan Harpy. <laughs> Taylor is being escorted by her father, Patrick Carpy. Taylor is the daughter of Patrick and Tracy Carpy. Taylor is a second year lieutenant and third year line member of the Texas City High School Cigarette Dance Team. She is a second year member of City Council, Tea Club, Spanish Honor Society, National Honor Society, and Mali Alpha Kingdom Sorority. She is also a member of Senior Spirit, Interact, and the Redefining Beautiful Club. As a junior at Texas City High School, she participated in Ryland. Taylor is also a member of St. John's United Methodist Church. In her free time, Taylor enjoys dancing, hunting, helping others, and being involved with her youth group. Her motto in life is a quote by Theodore Roosevelt. In any situation, the best thing you can do is the right thing. The next best thing you can do is the wrong thing. The worst thing you can do is nothing. After high school, Taylor plans on attending a university to pursue a degree in business and minor in fine arts. Taylor Nolan Hutton. Deja Villarreal. Deja is being escorted by her grandfather, David Gonzalez. Deja is the 2012, 2013 Lieutenant Colonel and third year line member of the Texas City High School Cigarette Dance Team. Deja is very involved in multiple clubs and service organizations at Texas City High School, such as Sea Club, Five Stoppers, 
the Red Describes Club, and Cindy Sheeran. In her free time, she enjoys dancing and being and being grand. Two of her favorite activities are eating and sleeping. Deja likes to live by the motto, This time will pass. No matter how difficult something is, the intensity can't last forever. Time heals all wounds. Time makes it pass. After high school, Deja plans on attending college in Maryland and pursuing a career in law enforcement. Deja hopes to one day become a homicide detective. Deja will live. Assisting with the crowning this season is our 2011 homecoming queen, Jay Heron. Jay is currently attending the King's College in New York City, pursuing a bachelor's degree in media, culture, and art. Also participating this season is the 2012 homecoming king, Riley Cooper. City Council President, Daisy Victoria. Vice President Allie Ramirez and Secretary Craig Beeman. And now, the moment you have been waiting for. Your 2012 Texas City High School homecoming queen is Miss Bailey Kim. here at Stingery Stadium where Miss Bailey Finn Congratulations. crowned homecoming queen. Yeah, great for her two-year starter on the varsity volleyball team. And, uh, good for her. Her and uh, Mr. Riley Cooper, as we had said earlier, was crowned the king on Wednesday night. See, wasn't that exciting? That, well, you know, it's exciting. Well, it was so exciting. There's lots of folks all of a sudden after it was over got up and started to leave. But I, I, I believe I understand now the umbrellas are coming out. It looks like there might be some uh, well, some participation. Participation. Okay. Some illegal participation <laughs> by the right. I was just watching, you know, the, the breakthrough, the, the sign that the Stings breakthrough. It looks like they were almost going to go parasailing. <laughs> 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 Just a little bit of uh, push, they might have been able to parasail that thing over the uh, over the end zone. There. Well, that's an interesting, to say the least, first half. Stings are on top by 10, 21 to 11. Uh, had a little bit of everything, uh, a whole lot of nothing. <laughs> but you did have the, the big 50-yard pass to Armani Foreman there towards the end of the, of the half. But both teams just can't seem to get any kind of momentum going on offense. Well, you know, the, two of the longest carries by either team, uh, both resulted in fumbles. Uh, one of the carries for Texas City goes 30 yards, and then the ball gets taken away for a fumble. Uh, one of the carries for the longest carry from scrimmage for Galena Park, 20 yards from the line of scrimmage, and it goes for a fumble. So just kind of funny things here. Texas City has uh, 16 rushes for 144 yards, uh, two touchdowns, and a couple of fumbles. They have uh, two for four with an interception and a touchdown, 74 yards in the air. Galena Park. They have uh, 22 carries for 58 yards and uh, 74 in the air. Kickoff's taken after mishandled and getting away from a couple of tacklers and still on his feet looking for some more blockers is Armani Foreman. He took it at about the 5. Now he's at the 30. Still looking for some room. <laughs> can't get his legs back underneath him as he tries to backpedal, and he'll be down at the 30. But hey, what? he did good to get it out of inside the team. I tell you, he did great work just to get it back up to the 30-yard line. He fumbled it around there inside the 10. Thought he was going to be caught back there. Did a great job of getting it back over here to the near sideline. Yeah, we have the, 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 the rain, the rain is coming down. Actually, the rain is sideways. Yeah, it's, it's, it's coming down from uh, from right to left, just like the flags, and that's gonna that's gonna <laughs> empty the stands quite a bit. First and ten for Texas City. First possession here of the second half. Andrew Allen's under center. He'll pitch to Deontay Foreman, trying that left side. He got a flag down as Foreman behind the block gets across the 40, 45, 50, and he'll go out of bounds there. But I got a feeling 
This one's going to be coming back. Gain of 20, but it was motion. So they'll bring it back and try it again. Johnson goes in motion to that far side. Makes the handoff, comes back this way. Got all kinds of running room. 30, 35, 40, 45. Allen still on his feet at the 50. He'll fall forward to the 46-yard line. I tell you, a great play call. Absolutely. You can see the whole the whole Galena Park defense makes the shift. And boy, I tell you what, that's something coming out of halftime. I guarantee it. Texas City said, we're going to take advantage yeah. of that. And they did. Everybody went to the left side, heading towards that way, except Allen with the ball. 29 yards on the carry for Allen. Sting's back ready to go. Wide outs to either side. Lynch and Foreman in the backfield. Lynch gets the call and he will go nowhere. Be a loss of a yard. Kendall Henry and Daniel Solis combined for the tackle on Don Lynch. Kendall Henry was one of those that was injured early in the game. He's back. Joel Marino, another one that was injured early in the game. And, of course, he's back. Can't tell, but it looks like the rain might have let up. It's really hard to tell. Like I said, it's raining sideways. Yeah. Two wideouts to either side from the shotgun is Allen. And Allen flags, flies, Tech City calls, actually gets a timeout off called before the play is snapped. So we'll take the break. 10 minutes and 31 seconds to play in the third quarter. 21 to 11, Sting's on top. Both teams back on the field after the timeout. Second and 11 for Texas City from the Yellow Jacket 47-yard line. Foreman comes in motion. He'll get the ball. He's got some running room. He's across the 40. Has the first down and most goes out of bounds and gets hit laid out of bounds at the 29 28-yard line. Gain of 17 on the play. Said he got hit. It might have been more just a slippery turf that uh, helped him go down. But that'll move the sticks for Texas City. Would like nothing more than to come out and make a statement here early on as we start the third quarter. Foreman, six carries for 36 yards and a couple of touchdowns in the first half. From under center, Allen gives it to Lynch. Lynch finds the hole across the 25 down to the 23 on the quick opener. Lynch picks up six. I tell you what, looks like the, uh, they've got a yellow jacket injured and a timeout. Take a quick break with them. That rain came and went quick. Yeah, good. Roosley's already throwing. Is he? Sure is. Kind of a tough stretch. Santa Fe. Baytown. Baytown. That's it. Yeah. Back in five, four, three. Second and four for Texas City. Allen from under center takes the snap. Straight drop back. Fires it out here to the near side. 
to Deontay Foreman and he can't get a handle on it. I really didn't see much of a... It looked like that might have been... Oh, they call it an incomplete pass. Looked like it might have been thrown backwards. Yeah, it was, it was close. And Foreman was making a motion like he couldn't see the ball. If it got just the angle, maybe got the lights. I really don't know. Actually, it was a backwards pass. They did. Oh. They marked it off. Loss. Because it was at the 24. That's right. Now it's third and eight. From the shotgun. Allen getting chased. Has it completed to Foreman. Foreman's got some room. He'll get down inside the 15 to the 14. And right at... No, that's, that is a first down. Easily. I was five yards off with my marker. Gain of 15. Toss a little pass out here in the near sideline to Foreman. And Deontay takes it. Out first and 10 from the 14. Armani Foreman will go in motion to the far side. As Allen hands off to Deontay Foreman. He's got a hole. He's inside the 10. Down to the 7. Tell you what, the uh, Tony Park linebackers playing up inside the line. <laughs> and actually really kind of helping Tech City out a little bit. Picking the hole. Foreman's able to easily pick up 7 yards. No linebackers to contend with. Oh, that's right. Colby Johnson comes in on 2nd and 4 for the Stings. From the eight, Johnson will come in motion. Foreman gets the call. He'll be inside the five, down. Looks like they're going to call it right at the five. I don't believe he's going to have the first down. Looks like they're marking him. Yep, go on, on maybe, the five. Maybe half a yard shy. Solis on the tackle for the Yellow Jackets. Corey Robinson checks in. Allen will be under center on third and one. Deontay gets the call, has the room, and he's in for the score. From five yards out, Deontay Foreman with his third rushing touchdown of the night. Made it look pretty easy there following behind the blocker. Fills it right in. Ten plays on the drive for Texas City. Ten plays, 70 yards. Good snap, hold us down. Kick is up against the wind, and it's good. So with 8-14, let's play here in the third quarter. Texas City extends their lead 28-11. to Eric Lace set to kick off. After the Texas City touchdown, just what you want to see coming out of the locker room, take it the distance and put six more or seven more on the board. Well, exactly, in a very convincing fashion on the ground. Very, very well done. Adam Doria with the return. Takes it back to the 31. I wish I could tell you what stinger he <laughs> tackled him, but I, I think, think you're going to be able to. I think it was the 30-yard line strike <laughs> that got him. But Tech City... First play, or excuse me, first drive of the half. Now Galena Park with their first opportunity to handle the ball. A little different conditions. Probably a little bit damp out there. Rain came and left. Maybe about a five-minute sprinkle. Just enough to clear a lot of the stands. <laughs> Adams from a shotgun quickly puts it to the sideline in the air. Caught. By Anthony Lakelli. Oh, Kelly slipped oh, away oh, oh, oh. and just gets tripped at the 45. I believe that's Adrian West, number five. But it's hard to tell. 25 <laughs> yards and he was gone. Actually, it's 15, Chris Gray. Had it not been for Gray. Wow, okay, Gray got a hand out there and tripped him up. Just, I mean, I like he's a split second later and it would have been six on the board. Kelly was a little uh, spark plug in the first half. One carry, 24 yards. And 
and just there, one pass, 25 yards. Man goes in motion, and another one goes in motion that shouldn't have. Yep, going to be five yards. Got rules against that, so they'll back it up five. One of the things in the first half, not a whole lot of penalties. It was a sloppy, sloppy first half with ball control, but there were not a whole lot of penalties. I didn't add them up, but a uh, couple of couple of costly ones. One that kept a Galena Park drive alive, but one of the drives for a touchdown. Big 15-yarder. Another one that kept Texas City from guys. So there wasn't a whole lot of test uh, penalties, but two of the penalties were big. Now well, that's really a park score touchdown, one that actually kind of took a touchdown away from Texas City. Adams brings it to the near side. He reads pitches to, to Jones, and Jones is going to just run out of bounds. Chris Gray forces Adam out. Runs out of room. Gain of a couple. He'll get down to the 46. Yeah, and then you talk about just you know, maybe not been a lot of a lot of, of um, penalties, but when you look at Texas side of the ball, had an interception, which really was just as good as a punt on that right. first possession, but two lost fumbles uh, just doesn't bode well. Quick give to Jones in the right side. He slips up the secondary. Going to be tripped up, but I tell you what, not after getting a big chunk of yardage. Donald Lynch makes the stop. Gain of 18 for Jones. And just when you you hold them for short yarders, then they bust out for a big one. Another first down for the Yellow Jackets. As they are now getting close to knocking on the door here. Darrell Adams, the quarterback, reads, gives it to Jones. Jones gets out of the grasp, cuts it into the secondary, and going to pick up another... About another 15 yards and a first down. Just about ready to get a full head of steam up, and Corey Robinson comes in and knocks him down. But I tell you what, he made a couple of very nice moves in the open field to get on that carry to get down inside the 15. Had him by the jersey at the line of scrimmage. That's not enough to hold him. It's kind of slicing and dicing in the middle of that Texas City defense here. They've made quick work of the real estate. This is the fifth play of the drive. Adams fakes, flag and down. keeps, and there is a flag down. Got to be face mask. Distance of the goal. I don't know if you heard him or not. For half the distance of the goal and, and an automatic first down. So he's emphatic with that first down. Was he likes doing that? He does. So Adams picks up a first down with the penalty on the keeper in for the score from five yards out. Touchdown, Yellow Jackets. Six plays. They make quick work. Trouble on the snap. And this one will not get a chance to be kicked. The extra point is no good, so our score stands with six minutes, 28 seconds left in the third quarter. Stings 28, Jackets 17. Say five plays. Uh, six. <laughs> All right, back in five, four, three. Lena Park set to kick off this. We talked about how good it was for Texas to come out of the locker room, put seven points on the board, but the the other side of that coin is you don't want the, the but, opposition to do the same yeah, thing. Like the Yellow Jackets have, you know, outside of a couple of plays, a couple of drives in the middle, they have uh, just 
done well. <laughs> they have. They, that uh, drive right before half where they kept the ball for uh, a good six minutes, scored that touchdown. That was a seven, that's been a 92-yard drive, I believe, right? Started on the eight-yard line, yes. 92 yards. Yep. And so, you know, their drives have really turned around. Very first drive, they scored a field goal, and then they went a couple of three and outs, a couple of negative negative drives, and then that drive really has kind of set them back, or put them back on the right track, I guess. So now, Yellow Jackets kickoff goes out in and out of the end zone, so Texas City, excuse me, will start first and 10 at their own 25. Thought of Lynch in the backfield. I'm sorry, that's Deshaun Rawls with Foreman. Foreman. He's got some room. We're trying to get around this near side 40, 45. Ball goes out of bounds, and it, it's picked up by Galena Park, but it's picked it up. In, out of bounds. White, yep. Yes. So, 20 yards on the carry. Big break for the Stings as they'll keep the ball. Yeah, you're right. Big break. Like they're actually going to mark it. No, they are right at the 50, or 45, I'm sorry. Now Lynch. In the backfield. Armani Foreman takes the snap and just goes straight ahead. Now he's trying to cut it across, and just before he gets his head of steam up, he gets brought down. But he does get... About eight yards on the carry to the 47 on the downhill side of the field now. Looked like he tried to make that cut. And had he been able to make that cut, you might not have been seeing him for a while. Yeah. Armani Foreman stays in in the shotgun. He gets the snap again. He's got the first down, 40. 35 down to the 32 yard line as he carries a white jersey all the way for about 4 yards. 15 on the carry. And a sting first down. Andrew Allen comes back into the game now as they break the huddle. Armani Foreman will be out wide to the far side on first and 10 from the Yellow Jacket. 33. Flags fly just as the ball is snapped. So back it up five against Texas City on the procedure call. now ready to go. Allen under center. Colby Johnson comes in motion to the near side. The pitch goes to Deontay Foreman. And he breaks the tackle. Oh my goodness. Falls forward across the 35 to the 34. Gain a four on the play. <clears throat> Tell you what, you thought he was caught in the backfield. Just somehow another he gets out of the grasp. Picks up positive yardage. Still going to be second 11 for the Stings. Armani forward to the near side Adrian West to the, the far side Allen rolling trying to get away from trouble he does, he'll keep it himself now lowers his head, gets across and still on his feet as he crosses the ball on the ground don't know which way it bounced and yeah, referee fell back on it. Yep. Referee says Texas City has another lucky break for the Stings as Andrew Allen fights for extra yards. He got hit about the 20, I believe. 19 yards for Andrew Allen and a Sting first down. Big play there. He was given quite a bit, quite a bit of rush from that far side. Bootlegged out to the near side and took it up the field. Again, first down for Texas City from the Yellow Jacket 16-yard line. Yeah. 
Throwing out the near side, trying to get it to Deshaun Rawls, but... And it was set up well. Nobody was around it was in that area. Couldn't get the ball to him, though, unfortunately. Rawls had lots of daylight. Well, not a lot, just about 15 yards. But that's all he needs. Yeah. <clears throat> Incomplete pass stops the clock at 4 minutes and 10 seconds to play here in quarter number 3. Stings up 28 to 17, looking now at a second and 10. Call it second and 9. Allen, straight drop back, fires a slant, but Armani Foreman was on the slant. Allen threw it behind him. I tell you what, they're giving that play, they're giving that slant. Safeties are in close, corner is uh, really giving a big cushion. And so the play is definitely there, just oh, able to connect on Yes, it is. Lynch comes in, Deshaun Rawls will come out on third and ten. Again, from the 16-yard line. Adrian West out wide to the far side with Armani Foreman in the slot. Now Foreman comes in motion, fake the pitch and give it to Lynch. He's going to try and get outside. He's got some room and a blocker. Cuts it up. He'll score from 16 yards out. I love, love watching him run. Oh, he, 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 he just, 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 just gets on in. <laughs> nice run. Had a good block out there in front of him and takes it in from 16 yards out. Extra point set to come. Andrew Allen to hold for Aaron Clays. Good snap. Hold is down. Kicks up and with three minutes and 58 seconds to play in the third quarter. Texas City, 35. Galena Park, 17. We'll be right back. What'd they say Dawson's score was? 28-27. Aaron Clace was going to be set to kick off with the ball. Comes off the tee with this strong wind. Puts a foot into it. It's taken at the 25-yard line. Tech City, 75 yards and eight plays. Takes two, 30, two minutes and 30 seconds off the clock. Well, Lynch with a 14-yard strike for his fourth touchdown of the season. Play the park. All drives so far tonight, all three drives have been touchdowns here in the second half. Tech City started off with a touchdown drive. Galena Park touchdown, Tech City touchdown. Here we go again. Galena Park second drive of the half and Adams is going to be caught for no gain. Colby Johnson slowed him down, and Dalvin Jackson finished him off. So I'll bring up second and 11, loss of one by Adams on the sneak here. Just looks to pass, has his man across into the defense. He's going to go all the way, 20, 10, and had a little slam. We talked about the slam being open. Yep. And I tell you what, split the defenders, and from 63 yards out, touchdown strike just like that, the Yellow Jackets. Sixty-three yard touchdown drive. I'm um, excuse me, it's a touchdown pass. Ramos to attempt the extra point. Kick is up and good. Line drive. Flag flag on the play. It'll be offside and it'll be declined. And we were just discussing that 
The stings are 34. I thought the extra point, I thought our extra point was good. I swear I thought he put his hands on I, I would almost, but stings have 34. That's what it says. 35, but, and so anyway, with that extra point, Yellow Jackets put another score on the board. We have to score now with that touchdown, Texas City 34, go ahead Park 34. Park ready to kick off. They've narrowed this thing down to a 10-point deficit. This thing's on top 34 to 24 with 305 to play in the third quarter. Foreman and Foreman back deep for Texas City standing at their goal line. Oh, it's been all touchdowns here in the second oh. half. This kick short. Taken at the 32. I believe that's Adrian West. Can't see the number. Yes, it is. Going to Park Drive. 62 yards in two plays. Uh, 62 yards, but it was a 63 yard pass. <laughs> Took 40 seconds off the clock. Like I said, our score, as Ronnie said, a 10 point lead for Texas City. So Texas City will get a little bit better field position the last couple of times that Galena Park has kicked off. They've kicked it out of the end zone. And we've started at the 25. This time they pooch kick. And Stings will take it at the 33. Stings ready to go. From the shotgun. Armani Foreman's going to keep his slips on the backfield, but catches himself with his hand and gets across the 35 to the 36. Big gain of three on first down. Second and seven, Andrew Allen back under center. Backfield split. Pitch goes to Deshaun Rawls, trying to get outside, and he'll get thrown out of bounds at about the 37, maybe the 38. Sante Oliver on the tackle. Good recovery there at the corner. Thought he was going to be able to get there and cut it up. But he just picks up a yard or two. We'll call it a gain of one. Thrown out of bounds. Stops the clock at 158. No, nope, it wasn't thrown out of bounds because <laughs> the clock still runs. Yeah. He was slung backwards, I guess. So Must have been. Forward progress. Let the clock run. Third and six. Allen takes the snap. Now he's going to look to run it. It's across the 40, 45, 50. He's going to have the first down and goes out of bounds. Let's see where they'll mark him. It's going to be close to the yellow jacket 45. Looks like it's going to be the 46. 17 yards by Allen. Tell you what, every time he, he makes that decision, it's a great decision. Yes, he, it is. He doesn't pick up three or four yards. He's usually putting it past the 10 mark, getting double digits. And a sting first down inside Yellow Jacket territory. Two wideouts to either side. Andrew Allen will be in the shotgun. Armani Foreman comes in motion. They hand it to him. He cuts it up with a big hole and gets away from a block, pushes another one off, and he'll go down, but not before he picks up the first down to the 34-yard line. Good looking run. And I tell you what, he is just fun to watch. Gain of 12, back-to-back -back first down carries for Texas City. As the clock in the third quarter gets down to 120. Stings have scored on two previous drives, as, as have the Yellow Jackets. Allen stays in the shotgun. Actually, that's on Monty. No, that is Allen. He takes it and just goes straight off the left side to the 30. Gain of five. Stings. Probably 
probably run one or two more plays into the wind. And then they'll have it at their back for the rest of the game. Second and six. Foreman and Rawls in the backfield. Allen under center takes the snap, pitches. Nobody there. Oh, oh, nobody there but a couple of orange jerseys to block. But they don't have anybody to block. Deshaun Rawls takes it in. Gabe Garza out here on the sideline. Yeah. Picks up a nice, uh, a nice block to spring it out. 31 yards on the run for Deshaun Rawls. Nice run, too. He had lots of friends out there, too. Yes, he did. A couple of orange jerseys kind of escorting him into the end zone. Snaps on the ground. Allen's going to have to just fire and trying to get outside, but he'll go down. Trying to pick it up and couldn't get there in time. So with 23 seconds left to play in the third quarter, Texas City 40, Galena Park 24. Sixty-seven. Yep, four degrees. Place. Oh, that kick goes in the air and just stops. But uh, big chance. It's a right free here. Oh, yeah. They have it. I believe they have it. He's got it. And I do not believe that yes. plan. <laughs> I don't think it was either. And I'm not sure who came up with it. Uh, it might have been Nathan Stahl, but I'm I'm just I'm not exactly sure who it was. There was several orange jerseys in there. That ball went up in the air and the wind. The wall of wind stopped it. It, it, it came straight, straight down. down. Actually, when it hit the ground, it took a bounce towards the Texas City. <laughs> so, Texas City takes over. First and ten at the Galena Park 39. Just in my notes, I'll write onside kick with a question mark. <laughs> Allen takes the snap, hands off. One play. Oh, I'll tell you what, Deontay Foreman's got some room. 25-20, cuts it up, still on his feet, and goes out of bounds inside the 15, down to the 17-yard line for Deontay Foreman. That 22 yards on the carry. 27, down to the, actually down to 12. Yep, 27 yards. First and ten for the Stings. Deontay Farm will come off, take a breather. And now Armani Foreman will be in the shotgun. Wildcat formation. He drops the ball, quickly gets back on top of it. I think he was what tell you? Running towards the open field before he had his hands on it. He had some competition for that ball. Kevin yeah. Ivalo was right there. And that will be the end of the third quarter. Texas on top, 40-24 to 24 over the Galena Park Yellow Jackets. Texas into to the line of scrimmage as we start the fourth and final quarter. Things are looking at second and 15 from the 20. The Galena Park 20. Allen under center. Handoff goes to Lynch. Lynch has got the room. Cuts it up. 10, 5. Touchdown. <laughs> he almost walks in. What a cut he made. <laughs> he does. He just cuts on a dime and rolls. I'm watching Andrew Allen back here. He liked that. He got excited on that one. What a run by Donald Lynch. Two plays. No. Make that three. Forgot about the fumble. Yeah. Allen set the hold for Aaron Clay's extra point attempt. Kick is up. And this one is good. So 11.52 to play in the game. Texas City extends the lead 47-24 to over Glenna Park. We'll be right back. Aaron Clay is now set to kick off after Texas City. Eight seconds into the fourth quarter. Put seven more on the board on the 20-yard touchdown run by Donald Lynch. Clay's, 
place, watch that ball and watch that ball and watch that ball to make sure it was going to stay on the tee. He takes his step off back his 10 yards and looks up and the ball is falling off the tee. <laughs> So the foot into a line drive takes a bounce at the 15 yard line picked up at the 10 and brought down at about the 27 yard line by Aaron Stahl i Nathan Stahl thank you <laughs> hey daddy's fixing to call you <laughs> I know my bad <laughs> Well, the good thing about that fumble is that Texas City breaks the cycle. They, the, the possessions have been going back and forth, and so Texas City able to put back-to-back -back touchdowns of their own on the board. Galena Park with their just their third possession of the half. They scored on the previous two. Nothing doing there. They'll lose a couple on first down. Matthew Jones on the carry will, like I say, go nowhere. Loss of two on the play. Francois Bonilla on the stop for the Stings. Texas City has scored on their last one, two, three, four, five possessions. Impressive. The hard part about that is Galena Park has scored on their last yeah, three. That's true. Is up and intercepted. Flag and come in. And comes out. Oh no, it does come out and flags come out as well. Now there's a now third flag. So I believe all kinds of stuff are going on. Probably going to be, my guess is pass interference and then I'm not sure what the other stuff is in the middle of the field. Going to be an unsportsman like that. Uh, I have a feeling you're probably right. Well away from the play. Look at this officiating crew. There's some big old fellas out there. Yeah. <laughs> I thought they might all could be a basketball crew. Gonna sort this one out. Look like Alina Park is gonna get a heck of a lot of yardage out of it. That play started at the 27. interference and then a personal foul against Texas City. Moves the ball wow. in, into Stingery territory. So from the 27.
pass. Nice job coming from the corner. Zach Powell got there at the same time, intended for Zante Oliver. And that'll be fourth down. Nice job by Powell. Saw Powell coming from his spot. Thought he might be able to get to that one sooner. It was going to be an interception, but they get there at the same time. Pretty good little collision. Punting into the wind now is Galena Park. First punt of the second half. Got to be offside. Yep. Line drive kick is going to take a nice Galena Park roll down to about the 30 yard line. Five yards won't do them any good. It'll, they'd probably be smart to leave it where it is. That's kind of what I was thinking. That's their longest punt of the night. <laughs> You're getting 20 yards out of it into the wind, and that might be something they want to keep. Wow. Well, they're going to kick it again, so it's how much we know. All right, well. After this play, the score is going to be 54. <laughs> I tell you, 54-24. Go ahead and do it again. Go ahead and punt the ball. See what you got. <laughs> Maybe they haven't scouted. Have you think they haven't scouted Texas? I mean, like, you're getting 20 yards on a punt. That's the longest punt you punted tonight. Well, Texas City doesn't even have anybody deep now. Oh, come on, you're going to make me a liar now. <laughs> Sting's trying to get the right personnel on the field. They're ready to go. We have to go for a block then. some yards on it. Yep. Good job, Coach. 37. <laughs> Texas City will get the Picked ball. Up seven the yards on the exchange. <laughs> That's right. Uh, it's that a five-yard penalty cost them a lot more, didn't it? <laughs> Twelve, I guess. Uh, they're lucky we didn't score. <laughs> I'm telling you. All right. Just under ten minutes. 9.59 left to play in a ball game. It has not been pretty, but somehow the stings are just continue to squeeze out points. 47-24 here. Now, I guess that's one way of knowing things are going your way when we can say it hasn't been a pretty game if you look up and you're ahead by 24 points, yeah. 23 points. Andrew uh, Allen. If you recall, just a few minutes ago, it was only 10. That's true. Under center, this one's going to be a long pass. Down to guess who? Oh, my no, 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 no. I can't hold on to it. Had a few steps. Oh, my just goodness. Just couldn't hold on to it. You knew it was coming. You had what you wanted. You had the coverage one-on-one. -on -one. He's going to see that one when he goes to sleep tonight. <laughs> Good help with the wind, though. That, yeah. Andrew Allen had that ball in, in the air a long time. Armani Foreman already has one 50-yard touchdown pass to his credit tonight. Second and 10 for the Stings. Allen takes the snap, pitches to Deontay Foreman. Foreman's across the 40 and gets wrapped up there. He'll get down to the 43. Number 10, Deontay Foreman. Okay, six on the play. Mark it at the 42. So it'll be third and four. We're keeping up with the other games across the, across the district. Big game taking place tonight. Friendswood Dawson. That one's going back and forth. It'll be interesting to See how that comes out. Friends would stay with them. Didn't think they would, but they have definitely stayed with them. Sting's ready to go. Third and five from the eye. Allen under center, and we've got movement. Flags come out everywhere. Glenda Park moved first and made contact. Thank you. That's what I thought it was. <laughs> That's the first the main thing we wanted to hear. Yeah. So Stings move the chains on the five-yard offside penalty. They're ready to go from their own 47. Allen takes the snap, hands off to Deontay Foreman, trying that far side across midfield. Stops, cuts it up 45 down to the 40-yard line. 17 yards. 
Make that 14 yards on the carry. Does a nice job of keeping it in bounds. Clock stops to move the chains and we'll see it go again. I'm sure these guys are ready to get their dates on out tonight. Have a, little, have a little dinner and get to bed. There you go. Homecoming dance, dance on I guess campus it's tomorrow night. Homecoming dance tomorrow night. First and ten, Texas City at the Galena Park 40-yard line. But with the clock to run, and now we got to call a timeout. <laughs> we'll take it with them. 8.24 left in our ball game. 20, excuse me, 47-24, Stings on top. Stings ready to go after the timeout. Andrew Allen from the shotgun stays in that pocket. Now he's going to come out. Eyes it in the near to Monty Foreman. He's got it trying to make a move across the 30, and he'll go out of bounds at the 29. Nice job by Allen. Stayed in that pocket as long as he could. Just wasn't anything there. He come rolls out to the near side and finds Ormonte Foreman. Ormonte basically knew exactly where the marker was. Takes it up the field as far as he can and steps out of bounds. For the first, right at the marker basically. Ten yards on the catch. New set of downs with 8.14 left in the game. Foreman out wide to the near side. West and Powell to the far side from under center. Allen takes the snap and doesn't see. Boy, he got a big rush. Didn't ever saw number 43. Little 42 came in there as well. Jesus Cardenas. Marco Vasquez and yeah. Jesus Cardenas. Lost back to the 37. So an eight yard loss. Trace Rodriguez out wide to the far side. Two wide outs on either side. Now Armani Foreman comes in motion. Give the handoff to him. He fakes like he's going to go in the double and keeps it himself. He gets across the 35 down to about the 32. So not a lot there. He'll not sure if he didn't get the handle on it quick enough. But it looks like the... Uh, Guys on the near sideline, I wondered why the ball didn't come here. That's going to bring up a third and 12. Under seven minutes, 6.55 and counting to play in the game. Allen takes the snap, takes the handoff, looking to throw. Has the man open, has got it. Going to be about a half a yard shy of the first down. Armani Foreman caught it. Tried to get his feet back underneath him and couldn't. So it's going to be fourth and one from the 20 yard line, the Galena Park 20 yard line. No question here, Texas City will go for it. anything more than a hard snap count. Yeah. Allen takes a snap. He's going to have the first down. Well, actually, I'm not so sure he is. They're going to mark him just inside the 20. It's going to be very close. I'm not sure he got it. Nope. They're pointing the other way. Yep. So turnover on downs for Texas City. string right there of, what, five straight? Yes. Yellow Jackets from their own 20. Six minutes left in their ball game direction and it's going to be uh, tackle for loss going nowhere. I believe that was Devontae Hinton smelled that one out. Nick Risano. Going to be a loss of seven. 
and defense is going to pick up what the offense couldn't get. A little misdirection action from the Yellow Jackets. Doesn't fool the, the, the uh, offside. Again, Adams bring it to the near side, and it's going to be short. Give that emphasis or give, give that to the defense. Lots of pressure there. Had to put that one up a little bit. The wind probably took care of that. Yeah, a little earlier than he wanted to, and you're right, the wind didn't help any. Chris Gray was right there, too. Pass falls incomplete. Lucky, lucky that one's not being uh, yeah. being celebrated right now. So it brings up third down, third and sixteen. Clock stops at five twenty-two with the incomplete pass. Adams three-step drop looks. Going to put it over the top, and this one is incomplete. Thought it was going to be intercepted, and as they both players look like they're going for it, defender gets tripped up. Who's that number five? That's Adrian West. Yep. Thought he might be able to come down with that one. Seemed like right as he was going for it, got tripped up. So that incompletion is going to cause a punt into the wind here. See if he can outdo the last punt of 20. Line of scrimmage is the 14. Turn man is at the 40. Stings should get some pretty good field position here. Amani Foreman at the 40. That's been a low punt. Hits it about the 31 and takes a bit of a yellow jacket bounce to the 37, and that's where Texas City will have it. First and 10 at their own, th uh, I'm sorry, at the Galena Park 37 yard line. So that one covered 22 yards. Stings come to the line of scrimmage. They mark the ball at the 36. Last drive, eight plays. Ended up in a turnover on downs. Deontay Foreman and Deshaun Rawls in the backfield. Allen under center. Deshaun Rawls gets the call. He's got some room. Cuts it across. Gets caught as he hits the 30, and he'll fall forward to the 32. I'm sorry to make that the 28. That sounds better to me than the 32. <laughs> the lines are kind of run together here. <laughs> Four minutes and 47 seconds left to go. Gain of seven? Yes, sir. Second and three. Andrew Quintana brings a play in from the sideline. He'll break the huddle and come out wide to the near side. Allen. Takes a snap. Foreman gets it first man through and barrels through. Still on his feet. 15 yard line inside the 15 yeah, down to the 13. Tell you what, if you're just going to tackle the ball, I'll just keep on carrying you to the end zone. <laughs> Basically, kind of what is the attitude? <laughs> what do you have right there? <laughs> Try to tackle the ball. And he just carries him with he it. He just keeps going. I tell you what, nice, strong run. Serve it. Coach Serve it gives him a nice head pat. Getting to 15. <laughs> And it should have been a gain of five. Yeah. First and ten for the Stings. Allen comes out, Rugely comes in. A couple of new faces in the backfield. Hello. Francois Bonilla gets the call. Number 44 gets it inside the ten to the seven-yard line. Gain of five for Francois. Oh, they're going to mark it back at the nine. Don't let me take it back. Oh, gain of five, four and a half. <laughs> Three thirty and counting to play in the game. Stings on top, forty-seven to twenty-four. Trying to put this one in the record books. Quintana out wide to the far side. Trace Rodriguez to the near side. Ball on the ground. Dalen Jackson didn't get the exchange. And 
that the Yellow Jackets have come up with the fumble. Leaves the Yellow Jackets three minutes and six seconds to try to make some magic here. from Christian. He's on his way to Kansas State. He said he just stopped outside of Tonkawa. I don't know where Tonkawa <laughs> is, but... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, it's good to know he's there. Pat, oh, get on that ball. They're going to call it incomplete. That was close. It sure was. So Texas City had scored touchdowns to five possessions in a row. But their last two possessions have been a turnover on, turnover on downs and then a lost fumble. Here as we're down to 3.03 left to play. I say he's going to Kansas State. He's going to the Tech game at Kansas State. I should <laughs> make sure to clarify that. Nick Rosano on a carry. Into that line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. It's going to bring up third down. Dwayne Taylor on the stop for Texas City. <laughs> Let that clock run. Two minutes and 30 seconds. Adam looking to pass. Fake short. Keeps. Going to be in trouble. He gets it past the line of scrimmage, so none of those guys get credit for a, a tackle for loss, but still, they're going to have to punt away. Yeah, Tate Smith was one of them giving chase. I'm not sure who the other one was. Gain of one for Adams. It's a nice coverage sack there. Not coverage sack, but nice coverage stop. My apologies, that wasn't 83, that was 63. Ramsey Ramirez is the one giving chase. Makes the stop. Stings do not have a returner on this one. As well, Ramos set the punt right on the goal line. And the wind whistles. Boy. Good snap. Low line drive kick. And this one bounces out of bounds at the 39-yard line. It's again right at a 21-yard punt. Stings will take over there with 89 seconds left to play. Hey, you stopped a little. I took you a little bit. Yeah, well, well, I was, I was like, oh, 60 got a little yeah. smoke coming out of the headphones. <laughs> <laughs> Seventh drive of the night for the Stings. New folks getting, to, getting some playing time. I believe probably on both sides of the ball. Again, Rusley. At quarterback, Bonilla gets the call because they're on the right side down to the 31. Talked about Stings not doing much of their last two possessions, but on the other side of the ball, they forced four and outs, three punts in a row for the Yellow Jackets. I tell you what, the defense. Hey, has adjusted in the second half. It was a wild third quarter as we went back and forth with points scored, but they really settled down here in the fourth. Bruce Lee. It's the handoff. Dalvin. Dalvin Jackson gets all the way down inside the 20 to the 15. Nice carry. Is that about 16 yards on the carry? Yep. Going to have to run another play. You know, we're going to have two games in a row that are going to be finished before 10 o'clock. Yeah, maybe you'll get home before 10 o'clock. I parked in the I'm in Texas City. I knew where to park tonight. <laughs> <laughs> v for victory. Victory formation here. Here you go. Rusley takes the snap, goes to a knee. And there will not have to be another play run. Texas City 
is going to put another win in the record books. They'll go to four and one in district, six and two overall. Be playing next week at Santa Fe, seven o'clock. We hope to see you there for Texas City versus the Indians of Santa Fe. Once again, final score from Stingery Stadium, Texas City 47, the Galena Park Yellow Jackets 24. Have a great week, everybody.